Hey Collective, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Lightwork Guiding Tintero. We're gonna do a collective reading. We're gonna tap in what's going on with the person on your mind or whoever is the most in your love energy. This is for all signs. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Father God, spiritual guides, ancient ancestors, please come into this reading. Let this be a message of love and light. Please keep out all low vibrational dark energy as it's not welcome in my spirit or the collective. And so it is as it be. Amen. I say. I feel really much more relaxed today. I think because I actually like took all day yesterday when I worked from home to rest. And like I wanted to wake up like super early today, but I was like, I'm just going to get up like when I feel like it. I still woke up at like eight, but you know. Let's get into it. Where do we want to start? Where do we want to start? Messages. Well, I just heard sexual messages, but are we doing that? We'll, we'll wait a second for that. All right. And I can't wait to share with you guys some of the things that I'm working on in the future. Some products, some spiritual tools. I know you guys are going to love it. Bear with me. I am a small business owner and doing everything by myself with integrity. So, you know girl gotta pay the bills girl gotta work and save the capital all right let's get into it let's see spirit what is the person that is all about my collective's energy what do they want to say give me some messages what do they want to say you know what actually Spirit said to use this deck. I'm going to get another Oracle deck. Another Oracle Messages deck. I heard the really good ones be on Etsy. So I'm going to go get another Oracle Messages deck. Because I feel like it's time. I live in Massachusetts and I really cannot wait to go to Salem. I'm going to like go out there with like a budget. I'm going to buy so many crystals. So many tarot decks. So many Oracle decks. I'm so excited. So we have Reassess. Be of service. Live life to the fullest. Ooh. Become a clear channel. Have faith and be open to love. So this person, I feel like you got somebody that's thinking about you, that's reassessing the situation. They've developed some sort of clarity with this have faith. This could mean that like their higher self wants you to have faith in the connection. Or this could even mean that this is like divinely guided, that they're praying for you. But be of service, that always brings me to like love languages. And so acts of service is a, is a form of love language. It's basically when somebody... The one of their love languages is when somebody does things for them um, of service. So like maybe building a table, taking them grocery shopping. Uh, so this could be their love language or this could be your love language. So what I'm really getting is this person wants to do things for you. I'm getting a masculine energy like this person wants to like enjoy life with you. They might want to travel with you. They might want to even pray with you. I feel like somebody in the past had a certain mindset or perspective about you that they developed some clarity around. I'm hearing they have realized that you're their their perfect partner. And it's like they want to come and give you things. They want to take care of you. Specifically for my feminines, if you're like an independent woman, if you work by your you work alone, you live alone. You know, you pay all your bills. This person wants to, like, be of service. Like, this person feels like you're such a good person and you never have anyone take care of you. Like, you never have anyone... Like, I'm hearing you're always alone. Like, you never have anyone take a burden off your back. And this person at some point may have been a burden to you. And I feel like they have reflected and realized, like, damn, the collective is, like, sweet and nurturing. And they just need, like, a real man. Maybe this person was intimidated by your independence, by your empress energy or your queen of wands energy or your queen of pentacles energy even queen of swords energy but i feel like they've had an epiphany like yo if i just step up and i'm honest and i'm loyal and i'm faithful and i'm dependable they will adjust maybe this person thought you couldn't be submissive or they thought you weren't feminine but it's like they realize like they need to show up as a true masculine in order to put you in that position because you already are very independent secure you have your life together um 
and you're not just going to give your life and trust to just anyone. So it's like this person is like, they could be like finding spirituality, finding God. Maybe I'm hearing they're becoming a man of God. They may have like seek or sought counsel from an older masculine that has like, who's like, I'm seeing like a younger man, like be mentored by an older man that like is in the church or is spiritual, has a wife, has family. And maybe they've like had someone like kick game to them about like how they need to like become a man of faith and be of certain, mm, I'm getting it, and be of service to their woman. This person was somebody who was selfish. They were like very much in the toxic masculine energy of wanting women, not only you, but women to submit to them, to chase them, to bow down to them. But it's like they matured and they have seen, you know, in the Bible, it says like men are providers and protectors. They're, they're here to be of service to women. And it's like this man or whoever this is has realized like they need to be of service to you. Like they will be fulfilled as a man by being of service to you, to giving to you, to nurturing you, to loving you, to making sure you're pr protected. Like there's a clip of an actor and he said when he was younger and he was in his immaturity and his player ways, he would walk into a room and he would want everyone to be of service to them, whether it was women, other men, he would want people to cater to them for like his ego. But once he matured and got with his wife, he understood that he needed to be of service to others. Like the value of a man is, is he dependable? What can he provide? What can he build? And so this person is realizing that. And now they want to live life to the fullest with you. They want to travel with you. They want to enjoy life with you. This is somebody who's growing up and they lonely. This person wants you to be open to love. The feminine energy here is fading away. And you see how the masculine is holding on tight. They might want to take you to Paris. I'm hearing Paris proposal for some of you guys. A French garment, maybe Chanel. Um, or Louis Vuitton. Christian Louboutin. A French designer, they might want to get you something like a French design piece. But this person feels like they want you to be open to loving them. Maybe at one point you was, but I'm hearing they might have showed their ass. And now I'm getting maybe you're not as open to a connection with them. Let's see. Let me get my other messages. It's like somebody growing up, like realizing like, hey, you want a wife, but you want to act like a tyrant and you want to be noncommittal and you want to lie and ghost and cheat. Why do you think you're going to have a like a wonderful woman in your life? Like putting two and two together, being humble. Oh, my God. I hate when the cards come out like that. All right. Clarify, reassess. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so this person feels like an idiot. They feel like, oh my gosh, all right, you just want to blow over here. Ready to communicate, just blew. And, you know, the fact that it blew off the deck, um, we know that air is how the wind blows. Uh, air signs are the signs of communication, specifically Gemini. So this person could have Gemini in their chart or Libra or Aquarius. Now, this person wants to communicate. They reassessed. They feel like an idiot. They feel like they had everything they could have ever wanted with you. And maybe them being in their ego, just being selfish, you know, like that very low vibrational masculine energy of feeling like I'm the man and people need to bow to me and I could have whatever I want. They're growing out of that. Yeah, as I say that spiritual growth. Some of y'all, this person has really been like finding God or some sort of spirituality. I really get that they could have like an older gentleman, maybe a family member. I'm hearing an uncle, some of you guys a father, but really like even a close friend, like a mentor, a business partner. I see someone like at a dinner or a function. And this is like probably the bachelor who always shows up alone or they always show up with a different woman, right? And so everyone else is married or Say your person's name is Ryan and Ryan works with Dr. London and Dr. London is married and has children. And so Dr. London invites Ryan to a business dinner. Ryan always comes alone or every time Ryan comes to these dinners, he's with another woman. One day, Dr. London sits down Ryan and says, you know what? You're a smart man. You're attractive, but you're an idiot. You know, like, where's your wife? Where's your children? You have a different woman every day. 
every time we see you you're out spending money you know you need to grow up you need to find a woman you need to find god like and i feel like they've had someone like tell them this some of you guys that it's not someone in their life they could just have been doing like research and watching youtube videos of like men who are like that they could have started going to church but yeah for a lot of you guys this person is getting mentored by somebody and they've gone through some sort of spiritual growth they could have even gotten like um a baptism and now that this person is their their lens is changing from little boy to wanting to be a man a king from a page to a knight to now a king and hopefully an emperor the true divine masculine now that they're going to the emperor energy they're like i need my empress and that's why they feel like an idiot because you are the empress <laughs> clarify become a ch clear channel i'm here and i ain't gonna find nobody like you We have thought slut. So some of you guys, this person could have thought that you were promiscuous. Maybe they have been realized they were judging you on the outside of appearance or they were judging you through a lens. Like maybe this person just thought that all women were promiscuous or maybe they've been hurt in the past and they didn't trust you. They could have went and messed with somebody else and realized the grass wasn't greener. They could have been judging you and thinking that there was somebody else bet out there better for them and realized that this person was promiscuous. This person was a slut. It's like they could have um, figured out um the truth about somebody they was investing their time in it's like this person could have thought that they had a good woman they had a queen but realized they really had a page mm -mm -mm. let's get be of service why does this person want to be a, mm, ready to be vulnerable Look at that. Connect with friends. I feel like this person is getting counsel from their friends or something. Somebody's in their life. Somebody is in their life who has a wife and has children or a, a wife and is, has a happy life. I feel like your person may have thought that people couldn't be faithful and happy. And now they're seeing that that's something they want. Like they may have thought living a fast life and being a bachelor and having the baddest girl and the flyest car was going to make them a man. But now they're realizing like having a stable connection, having a family family makes them a man so it's like they want to be of service because whoever they're around they're starting to feel like immature around these people because they're at a certain age and they don't have those things so now they want to be vulnerable and they want to tell you that they want to be of service to you i keep seeing gossip they may have heard something about you they may be keeping a close eye on you looking at what you're doing I feel like I need more one card for this one more card for, for this be of service. One more card for be of service. Oops. Going to ghost again intentional. I feel like this was somebody who would ghost you intentionally. Like they would be in and out of your life. Look at that. Words of affirmation. Here we go with the love language. This person wants to be vulnerable and tell you how they feel. I feel like I'm getting it. With this words of affirmation and this ready to be vulnerable. This person used to ghost you because they didn't want to communicate their feelings. They didn't know how to communicate their feelings. They would intentionally ignore you. Intentionally be in and out of your life. Intentionally leave you on red. But now it's like they're ready to be vulnerable. They want to tell you how they love you, how they feel about you. They want to be of service to you. They want to give you things and like give you what you deserve. It's like this person realizes they didn't treat you right because they had issues in themselves. Clarify, have faith. Love has hurt me before. So this person in the past was very hurt by somebody, whether it was their childhood or for a lot of you guys, a previous relationship. And they didn't have faith that they could find someone like you who would love them, who would treat them right, who would, I feel like this person has healed, who would like um, be faithful to them. They didn't believe that that existed. So they kind of judged you based on their past. Give me a card because something has shifted. Still wearing a mask holding back. So this person was wearing a mask holding back from you because they were hurt from their past. 
but they've been manifesting you back into their life. It's like they've had some sort of epiphany that I'm hearing they need to go to Tiffany's. But yeah, they were very fearful, avoided at that present time. Like they wanted to love you. They wanted to be open to you. But like they realized they had, listen, this person realized that you are the person of their dreams. They were manifesting you. But once they got you, they were holding back and wearing a mask because they were hurt in the past. So now it's like something has shifted where they have faith and they're starting to be open and love. Clarify, live life to the fullest. They want to live life to the fullest with you. They feel like you have a perfect personality. You guys blend. I feel like this person, has tried to date people but like the vibe just isn't there like they might be someone who goes on dates or travels but like them and the person have awkward pauses awkward silences i feel like you and this person y'all will laugh together the conversation flows it's like they really miss you like damn and that's why you gotta heal before you really get out there dating because you could let the love of your life pass by the person god sent for you Okay, I'm going to take these ones. We have fun times. Yeah, what did I say? You and this person have fun times together. You and this person enjoy life. Like, you're genuine. This person feels like you're genuinely a fun person to be around. But then we also had third party and secretly corny come out. So this can mean two things. Your person could have got with a third party that they realized. Like, they were trying to do all this stuff with somebody. But that person is, like, kind of corny. Or your person's kind of cordy in this third party. Like, they were trying to do, like, enjoy life and live life to the fullest with somebody that they wasn't, like, didn't have chemistry with. And it's, like, made them think, yeah, this person ended up block blocking their blessings. Like, look at that. Th they've been scared to reach out. We have seek therapy. I'm telling you, a lot of you guys, your person has started going to therapy or has gone to therapy, right? But I feel like they were trying to live their life to the fullest with a third party. But them and this person didn't really have a vibe. Like, they didn't have chemistry. And the whole time they were thinking about you. But they've been scared to reach out because they went to this other person and realized the grass wasn't greener. That person, this third party has actually been blocking their blessings. Clarify, be open to love. So you faded away. I feel like you were probably sick and tired of this person keeping you on the back burner. This person not taking any moves towards you, not making it official, you know, not giving you the energy or the treatment you deserve. And so the divine feminine here, you done faded away. And this person is trying so hard to hold on to you energetically. Listening to love songs, <laughs> wanting you to be open to love again, wanting you to be open to um giving them another chance i feel like if this person wasn't spiritual or religious they started praying because they didn't know what else to do like i feel like somebody's been praying to god to have another chance with you because they just don't the only thing they they feel like would help this situation is god itself <laughs> clarify be open to love It's like this person knows that one period you were open to a connection with them, but maybe they fumbled you or they did fumble you. They went and messed with someone else or other people and just didn't give you the attention and treatment you deserved. And now they feel like, I keep seeing this. Can we start over with provider alpha male? What did I say? This person wants to provide for you. They're proud of you as well. This person's been watching you. It's like, you're not, you don't seem to be phased by this. Like this person knows that they hurt you. They know that they didn't treat you the way you deserved. They know that they really was kind of shitty to you. And you just keep growing and transmuting that energy. You keep um, being a, a beacon of light. It's like this person just thinks you're amazing. And now they want to come. It's like, you're so amazing. And you're such a giving person. And this person realizes, and they know that a lot of people in your life have taken from you. But it's like you just freely and effortlessly give because that's on your spirit. That's who you are. You're an empath. You're a loving person. You're a, a, nurt a nurturing person. And maybe they felt like in the past people like you didn't exist. And they treated you badly. Um, and so the realization that they have added to being the takers of the people who have hurt you when you are loving them genuinely is really making this person feel really bad about themselves. So now it's like they want to come in and give to you. Like I'm hearing everybody, you take care of everybody who takes care of you. So this person wants to come in and be a provider, alpha male. They want to start over and they're saying that they're coming soon. You know? Like, this person just feels like you you didn't deserve the way they treated you. Like, you're like a sweet, loving person. Like, why did they treat you like that, you know? 
I mean, y'all gonna have to tell me why because I don't understand it. I don't really get it. I don't really, really get it. I don't really get it. Let's just see some tarot really quick. Spirit. Let's see, Spirit. How does this person feel? Let's see, who is this person? One card for who this person is. The Six of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. This could be somebody, with these coming out together, this could be somebody who definitely put you in a third party, somebody who broke your heart, somebody who you felt like was breadcrumbing you. Maybe like giving someone else more attention instead of you with the Magician in Reverse, someone who was a manipulator. Mm. The Eight of Cups, somebody who walked away from you, turned their back on you. Or somebody who forced you to turn your back on them. The Four of Cups, someone who you feel rejected by. Someone who just like kind of just like left you out in the cold, like rejected you, didn't give you what you needed, didn't give you what you deserve, like did not treat you right. Let's see, Spirit, what has shifted in this person's life that is making them want to come towards the collective? What has shifted? I'm hearing a good dose of karma. The lovers. Why the lovers? The devil, ooh, they could have gotten into a very toxic connection. A very toxic connection. Wheel of Fortune, ooh, they got some karma. They ran into a very toxic connection with somebody. If they chose somebody because the lover talked about a decision, whoever or whatever path they chose was very toxic and very karmic. And it's like they learned a lesson with the Wheel of Fortune. This was meant to happen. The tower, ooh, this was a tower moment for them. Yeah, whatever situation they got into, ooh, this king, of Pentacle, this king of Pentacles could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the Queen of Wands. Watch the other video I posted yesterday about how your person is stuck with a third party and they don't want to be with them. I feel like this is a continuation of that reading. So your person, because the Queen and King of the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles came out with the Ten of Wands in that reading. Your person could have gotten into a connection with somebody that they thought was their match. Um, your person could be a provider, a protector. It's kind of like they gave everything to someone who doesn't deserve it. Like this Queen of Wands can be very sexy, very attractive, but they're not a match. Like they don't have chemistry with each other. It could have been just a very sexual connection where your person was attracted to this person for their looks and this queen of wands is with your person for their money and so your person has realized like this has caused stagnancy and blockages in their life like they just feel like they're not with the right person and they've begun to put two and two together that the person they chose to be their partner is not the one for them and specifically you coming up as the empress queen of pentacles they feel like I really feel like they're financially providing, helping this person get, gave them the world, so to say, in whatever way they can. They don't have to be a millionaire or super rich, but they've given this person a lot of resources, energy, time, and effort. They're like realizing why didn't they give that to you? Like you deserved it. It's kind of like when a woman is independent and a man feels like they don't deserve certain things. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. See, you focused on your work. See, mm, this person didn't give to, the, your are you're focused on your work you're very hard working you're very honest you're very stable you're very grounded but this person came to you as a page of pentacles like they didn't give you what you deserve it's like this person invested in the wrong type of woman like like i was saying it's kind of like when some men see women who are independent and confident they don't want to take them out they don't want to buy them lunch because they feel like they already have all those things so they'll go to somebody who is like kind of needy or like I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. Whoever they went to, they felt like this person deserved that treatment more. Like, I feel like your 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 independence and the fact that you don't need to depend on this masculine uh, was triggering for them in the past. And maybe they felt like you would leave them eventually or find someone better. So they got with somebody like, ooh, she's cute. She looked good. Let me, let me take care of her. But now they're realizing like being with that person has caused drama in their life, 24, 24 on the clock. And it's making them see like, Look at how this feminine is focused on her coin, but this masculine is focused on the feminine. The queen of wands is looking at the masculine, but the masculine is thinking about the queen of pentacles. Because it's like your person feels like they're with the wrong person. 
Like they got with somebody for sex, for, for looks, for superficiality, when they're realizing they could have really made an empire and really built something with you. You know when they say like a bad bitch is a bill? Not saying that like you don't like nice things too, but like this person, your person might have got with them and just all they did was spend money on them like excessively. Like you gotta trick her to, you gotta treat her to keep her type of energy. Not saying that you don't deserve that, but maybe you come off very authentic and you, you got a lot, you get what you want. Like, so you're not begging this person for a Chanel bag or you're not asking them for money every single day. You know what I'm saying? Because you got your own. So they're realizing that that's the type of person that they should provide for. Yeah, and this keeps them up in their head at night of them like really feeling regretful for how they treated you. Let's see, how do they feel about you? Okay, four of wands. They see you as being the person they should have married or the person they want to marry. Ooh. Eight of wands, communication. This person's coming in, ten of cups, ace of cups. Woo! This person's coming in, judgment, the emperor. Woo! This person wants to give you the world. They're in love with you. They've matured. They see themselves having a family with you, having an empire with you. What about this Queen of Wands? Is this Queen of Wands still in the picture? Oh, my eyes itchy. Nope, Nine of Pentacles, your person's single. King of Swords, your person cut that person off. They went ghost on them. So I think your person could have been, like they've learned a lesson. They've matured. They were with somebody that they have realized is not the type of person they want to be with. It's like your person had to go learn the hard way. And all the while they've been watching you, keeping an eye on you, and they realize that you're their perfect match. So they got with somebody that it didn't work out with, and now they have cut them off, and they are single, and they're ready to come towards you. Page of Swords, what did I say? They've been, watch they've been watching you. They've been watching you, keeping a close eye on you, missing you. And now this person wants to come in with justice and the ace of swords and be honest and be truthful. Spirit said that's the truth. I mean, the eight of wands is quick communication. So I feel like this could be coming in fast. But it's like some of y'all, if you're able to forgive this person for leaving you out in the cold and choosing somebody else, I feel like this person's going to come and told you, tell you, like, I learned my lesson. Like, I learned my lesson. Like, I, I'm sorry. I feel like they would come in being authentic. Let's get some hidden truth. What is the hidden truth from this person? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So as soon as they let you go, they would think about you the whole goddamn time. But this person had a lesson to learn. I wish I could take back my word. So there's something that they said to you that they really regret. I love you. This person is in love with you. I hid from you who I really am. So they was living in a mask. I want you. Not only do this person love you, but they want you too. <laughs> Feening. I left before you could late leave me. So this person thought eventually you would leave them, right? And they knew exactly what they was doing. So they was intentionally treating you a certain way. Like I said, we had ghosting intentionally. They were doing that on purpose because they wanted to, you know, leave you before you could leave them. I bury myself in work to forget you. So this person, Mr. King of Pentacles, has just been focusing on their coins, trying to forget about you. But now it's like it's become too strong where they need to come towards you. We have, we both know I'm not the one for you. That came out in reverse. So I'm going to take it. And I wish I treated you better. I feel like what this person keeps hidden is that deep down inside, they wish they would have treated you better. Um, I remember every detail of that day. So the last time you saw this person, this person just thinks about it, how they acted, what they said, what they didn't say, how they treated you, their mannerisms. Um, they're really regretful, but I feel like they are coming in to apologize. Let's see, Spare. When is this person going to come in? Can we get some clarity? When is this person going to come in or come towards the collective? When are they going to come in with this love offer? Spirit said, mind your business. <sighs> Five of swords. That's turning their back on something, 
Five of Swords, that could be May. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe during Taurus, maybe during Taurus season, which is in May. Yeah, they coming towards you, but they need to turn their back on something. Five of Swords. The world, yep, they're still closing out a cycle. Five of Cups. They're closing out a cycle. You know what I'm saying? I know you don't want to hear that, but it's like they're learning their karmic lessons. So spirits, like, we do have fives here. So five plus five is ten. <laughs> okay. So could be in October, could be in Taurus season. I'm getting five, so it could be May. We're currently in April. Um, what's the advice for the Queen of Pentacles here? For my feminine energy here, what's the advice? I feel like spirit just wants you to keep doing what you're doing because this masculine is closing out cycles in their life. They're learning lessons. And it's kind of like I'm hearing none of your business while they're learning these lessons. Okay. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're they're realizing what they want and what they don't really want. They're realizing what makes them happy, what doesn't make them happy. They're walking away from things that don't fulfill them. Knight of Cups. They're moving. The Knight of Cups isn't slow, but it isn't quick. It's kind of like, you know, they're maturing. The sun. So it's kind of like this person has to find their own happiness, like be single for a while, especially if they were in a relationship with this third party for a long time. It's like they have to be single for a while. Like, I feel like they're going through a spiritual journey. I know y'all don't want to hear that shit, but like this person is taking time to their self or they're being isolated by spirit so they can see things clearly. This is the type of person that would go from relationship to relationship, from fling to fling. Yeah, six of cups in reverse. They have to leave everything behind from their past. Like spirit wants them to come to you cleansed and, and renewed. <laughs> and that could take some time, guys, you know. Three of cups. No, three of pentacles. Why the three of pentacles? This could talk about them. Nine of, no, is that four of swords? Yeah, they have to heal from this empress in reverse. I know y'all don't want to hear it. Five of Pentacles, five, five, five. Look that up. Five, five, five is here. We have three fives. So look up that. That's the number of the angel number of change. It's like your person feels left out in the cold, feels lack. So it's kind of like they have to heal from this situation with this Empress in reverse, this third party. They have to fully close that out. They have to let all of the pain from the karmics, the bad relationships in their past, from their childhood, they have to let that go before they come to you because they've been treating you like this already like this person is could be in therapy like they've been treating you like you're an empress in reverse they've been treating you like you cheated on them like you hurt them or like you're a bad person so it's like they have to release all that guck before they can come towards you what's the advice for my queen of pentacles okay eight of cups oh walk away spirit says keep walking away so spirit doesn't want you to do anything. Spirit wants you to just do you and keep walking away. You going towards your path, you holding your head up high, you knowing your value, you knowing your worth, you walking towards your greatness, you walking away from things that don't serve you, your person is energetically doing the same. And that's what's bringing them back to you. But don't hit this person up. Don't call them. Don't text them. They need to come towards you. What else, spirit? So spirit wants you to keep closing out cycles, whether that's with friends, family members, car mix, this person, keep walking away, cleanse out your energy. Ace of Cups, love yourself. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit says, Spirit kind of wants you to be alone. Like, love yourself and hold back that pentacle. Like, you know, like, pour all your love into you, but hold back your pentacle. Like, hold, because Ace of Pentacles is the offer. Like, that's the, that's the solid offer of, like, take my hand in marriage. Be my man. Be my woman. Spirit says, be loving and be light, but keep your pentacle to yourself. Because until you find someone worthy, like, don't settle. Even if it's not this person, keep your pentacle to yourself. Self. maybe some of you guys spared is saying even practice celibacy like keep your energy to yourself until you find someone worthy who shows up and needs and um deserves it four of wands you do have a serious commitment coming page of cups you do have an apology coming 
the spirit is basically saying like with the king of cups see this masculine spirit wants this masculine to come towards you and apologize so spirit wants you to really step into your feminine energy of receiving of like sitting in your beauty sitting in your grace sitting in your power and whether it's this person or someone else of letting them come towards you letting them do your do the work it's time for you a time to give rather than take is what i'm hearing a time for people to give to you because you've been good to people for so long you've been giving friends family member relationship partners your energy and spirits like no sit in your divine energy your person is going through an awakening they already know what's going on but they are being stripped they are you know learning a lesson of how to really deal with a divine feminine so until then you stay in your power enjoy your life advance in your career but even if you want to date someone else don't give people the time of day unless they're showing up in that emperor energy because you are an empress all right, collective, I hope this resonated. If it did, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.